Let's continue here on Box to Row with the Radio Boss. We're joined by a young woman, as a matter of fact. So Blind Spotting is a new series that's coming on Stars. It's going to premiere on June the 13th. A lot of a lot of uh, talk about Blind Spotting. It looks to be a going to be a really cool series. Uh, my next guest is one of the stars, as a matter of fact, and she's been on some great series in the past. Maybe most notably, Shameless, which is extremely was extremely popular, just ended its run, uh, I believe, in April. Jalen Barron joins us here on Box to Row with the Radio Boss. Jalen, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you for having me. That's a nice introduction. Absolutely, glad to have you. So, what has this been like? I mean, I'm sure it's been a whirlwind uh, for you in terms of the promotion for Blind Spotting, which looks to be really cool series is getting a lot of pub thank you thank you you said what's it what's it like to be a part of it yeah what's it like in terms of the media and all that and all that the it's a whole new ball game you know i've done a lot of great different tv shows before and this one i feel like this is my first um adult role it is for sure and it's definitely a new new territory i'm stepping into i'm really <laughs> trying to be careful with what i say you know how i talk to people in interviews it's like oh wait this is this is recorded everybody can hear me and everybody's gonna watch this let me let me let me do my work and get this together but it's so cool it's an it's a learning experience for sure and um I mean, I'm really fortunate to be able to have this this be a part of my journey. Yeah. So you play the role of Trish, right? And I've seen the um, the trailer. Yeah, Trish. Trish is Trish is pretty serious, right? Trish is serious. She <laughs> needs business. Okay. She's everybody knows a Trish. Everybody has a Trish in their life. Yeah. So tell tell us a little bit more about Trish and and um, you know sort of sort of that role you play. Well, okay. Trish is Miles, who is played by Rafael Casal, uh, his little sister. And he is this firecracker of a character, and she is no different. Okay. She's a Sagittarius. Okay. So we're going to put that there. She's fun. She's loyal. She's extremely loyal to her family. And I mean, she's just your everyday girl trying to get some money. We all have a Trish in our life. She's relatable. She's fun. She's talented and she's witty. She's that's what I like about her that she's witty. Yeah. So what, tell us a little bit more about like, I've seen sort of the previews on stars mm -hmm. or blind spotting. First of all, how were you, how did you get this role? How did this role come about for you? Okay, so let me, this is a long story. So, <laughs> That's good. Pretty much, so pretty much, you know, I was just going through like every other actor, the audition process of, you know, receiving different auditions from my agents, you know, getting this close to it, so extremely close, and then it would be a no, right? So at that point, I had gotten so many no's where I was like, man, like, what do I need to do differently? Like, how do I need to play this, right? So of course, like I wrote in my manifestation journal, I prayed and I was just basically like, whatever is for me is always going to be for me I was always I've always been a strong believer in that and it's going to come to me in its own divine timing so I had been writing in my journal for months of basically the show the network that I want to be on and the type of show and I have 300 things that my mom actually showed me this video with Steve Harvey he was uh, talking about how he doesn't know one millionaire who doesn't write things down right so write down 300 things you want to get done in a year so at the beginning of last year I was writing down how I want to be on a network tv show something like stars HBO or AMC right that like that's the next step that I want to take and I want it to be you know this type of series I want to be this kind of character and so obviously a year passes by and I've just been you know getting you know grinding and going and going going to acting class after acting class session after session so finally the role of blind spotting had come in and the week before I had just got let down from a job right and you know but it I'm not even going to say let down it was it was a blessing you know it's it was great it was an amazing opportunity I got to get that close to it so basically blind spotting came in and I was like okay I'm going to do this audition and then I'm going to go on a quick little weekend vacation just to reset get my mind right? right so I auditioned for it and then I'm like I told my friend I'm like imagine if I get a role as a stripper like <laughs> can you believe that please I get a call back I'm like okay I'm gonna uh, let me do this so I go into the call back and Raphael is there David Diggs is there everybody is in this call back and I'm like Ooh, I'm a little nervous y'all like <laughs> okay let me let me get this together right so I auditioned for them and then right after my audition Raphael was like I think we found Trish 
And I was like, wait, because, you know, they talk a lot of talk in these auditions. You, you know, you think you get it and sometimes you don't, sometimes you do, you know, and it, it just depends on, you know, what they feel is right for the role. So I end up booking blind spotting two weeks later and they and I was like, Whew, let's do this. And then we started working a couple weeks after that. And then ever since I believe it was October. October is when I found out that I had booked the role. So it's just been a roller coaster. I still don't even feel like it's happening. Wow, that is an awesome story. Can you share maybe a, a, some of the roles that you really felt you, you mentioned not getting some roles that you were, you know, up for that that you did not get, you know, ultimately. I mean, I don't even think having to say what they were is that important because I mean, it wasn't meant for me. It was meant for some beautiful girl who, you know, had what it took to to get it. So I would it wasn't even missed opportunities. It was just, you know, one door closes, your door opens. So I would I would say they're all I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's part of the business, correct? It's part of the business. It's nothing personal. It's never anything personal. It's what is right for this character. And you want every movie to succeed and you want to make sure that you are able to play that character, so. Jalen Barron plays the role, of course, of Trish on Blind Spotting. Premieres June 13th on Stars as she joins us here on Box to Row with the Radio Ball. So let me, let's talk about Free Rain, which came on Netflix. Mm. Um, like you, you all filmed that in the UK. So that must've been exciting. Like a, you were, you were on that show at three seasons. So you were three back seasons. and forth uh -huh. across uh -huh. the pond. Yep. It was, I mean, it was so fun. It was an experience. It was my first lead on a TV show, especially on Netflix. Um, and I mean, that was surreal in its own. I got to live in England part of the year and then come back to California. I think I may have mastered a British accent. Okay. Just a smidge. I lived with everybody. I mean, I love, I love the team at Free Reign and I'm, and I appreciate Netflix so much for taking that chance on me. They opened so many doors for me. I, I am so grateful for them. Yeah. What, speak about your career, like you, you know, you started out young, right? I mean, you're still young. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, but you started out as a child, if you will. Right. And, you know, the roles have, even though, yeah, you may not have gotten some roles, but to your point, what's for you is for you. This right. role obviously is for you. Free reign was for you. Other mm -hmm. roles have been for you. Just talk about how your career, I mean, your career uh, is blossoming. It's growing. Yeah, I mean, it, man, like when I say divine timing is everything, please have no doubt in God's plan for you, for your individual self, nobody else's, because I am so grateful to have been able, I started literally from nothing, right, from no agent, nobody in my family was in the industry, nothing like that, booking my first job of, um, I believe it was a Bratz commercial, it was a Bratz commercial that I had booked. That was my first job ever. And then I graduated on then to having, you know, co-star roles. And then I went to, you know, uh, Disney Channel. And then I got recurring roles on Disney Channel. And then I was able to graduate from there onto Showtime Shameless, right? And then from there, I took a step to free reign. And then from free reign, here I am on blind spotting. And I am so happy for the things that did not work out for me because it turns out it all works out for you. Mm. No matter what, it all works out for you in your favor as long as you believe it and you speak life into it and you move accordingly in your day-to-day -day life, then you have no way but to go up and progress. That is very well said. And I think, you know, that's, I mean, that's food for thought for anybody, you know, even people that have a lot of experience that are in the business. And you're a prime example of that as your career continues to flourish. Shameless was pretty big. Like you've done some stuff, right? I've tried to do Shameless this was pretty big time now. I mean, you know, and it just ended its run. You were part of season six and seven. Speak to that as you played the role of Dominique Winslow. Yeah. Oh man. I mean that, like I said, it was such a big deal to me. I didn't, I, at first I had no idea how big of a deal the show was. And then when I started watching, I'm like, oh, people like this show. It's a great show. It's gritty. It's fun. And I mean, just being able to play Dominique Winslow, be, you know, this, this quote, good character at first, and then she turns into the villain. I, li I like playing the villain. It's, it's a good time. I mean, I feel like maybe Trish is a little bit of a, of a good villain. She's one of those villains that you grow to be like, oh, okay, okay, she's not, she's not so bad. I wouldn't even call her a villain. She's just, she's just loud. But <laughs> I mean, 
being on Shameless was a learning experience and it was a whole new ball game. And I mean, I felt like at the time I didn't realize it, but it was almost God being like, here's a little, here's a sample of what it's going to be, what kind of show you're going to be on. Cause in my manifestation journal, I had written down, I want to be on a show that is similar, like, you know, that is um, on a network the way Shameless was and, you know, how much love it gets. So I mean, you get what you ask for, you know, if you move, if you move correctly, only yeah. if you move correctly. No, no question about it. And, and even more, even more so than that, because you're, that was what, 2016 and 2017? Is that when that yes. was? Or? Yes. Uh -huh. The end of 20, I want to say the end of 2015 going into 16. I want to 16. So you weren't, were you even 18 at that? I'm not trying to give you, I'm I was, no, no. Yeah. I was turning 18. Okay. I was turning 18. Yeah. Cause I'm going to be 24 for in August. So I was turning 18. I think I turned, oh, I actually turned 18 on set okay. that day. So, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But the thing being to be able to work with the actors that have that experience mm -hmm. on that show and you um, coming into adulthood, adulthood at that time, that must have been a phenomenal experience for you. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's so much that I learned from watching everybody and, you know, watching Emmy Rossum, how she handled being on set and, you know, working with these directors and William H. Macy. Mm -hmm. I don't even think at the time that I grasped how big of a deal it was. And so now being me being older and looking back and it's like, wow, they trusted me to be around these people. And I didn't act crazy. You know, I didn't do anything, <laughs> nuts, but like on set or anything, but it's just, you know, it was so cool being able to learn that. And I have such cool experiences when I look back on my career and it's like, I've been around a lot of different people. And I feel like that has a lot to do with who I am today. I mean, and at the time, you know, in my head, I was just like, well, I act just like them. You know, I'm an actress too. I'm here on set, just like, just like they are. So I'm, what, what, why am I going to be nervous going to work? Right. That was my mindset. Just, uh, just so nonchalant. Right. <laughs> No, and that's not, I mean, I'm saying, you know, you're right in, in theoretically. But right, but it's different. It's, it's so different. different. It's something that you have to grasp onto and be like, okay, let me absorb as much of this successful energy as I can, right? And I just, you know, I was, I was young. I mean, I'm still <laughs> young, but I just, so much to learn. Yeah. Jalen Barrett joins us here on Box to Row with the Radio Boss again. Check her out, Blind Spotting. June 13th on Stars. The series airs each week. It promises to be a great show and a lot of fun. Um, for, so what's like, are you working on anything else right now? Right now, I'm just auditioning and soaking up this moment in my life. Honestly, of course, I want to book. I'd love to book other jobs too. Um, but that's, that's, of course, a process. We'll see. We'll see what's in the works. Okay. I get, you know, I don't want to promise anything yet, but yeah. we'll see what's going on. Yeah. And, and so I, I'm assuming acting is something you've always wanted to do. Oh, yeah, 100%. I didn't even realize that I wanted to act before. I mean, I knew what I wanted to do, but you, you know when you're, you're too young to recognize the name of it or what it is. I would always put on plays. I would be in plays at school. I would dress up. I'd pretend to be different people. I wanted to be one of the little girls on Barney so bad. Never got that chance, but it's fine. It's okay, you know. And my mom, she actually didn't uh, didn't want me to act because she's like, I don't want everybody looking at my kid, right? And then when I was about twelve, I was like, so when we when we're when we're gonna do this, right? And she's like, okay, you know what? If you get you know straight A's this year, I'll look into some photographers, whatever. So then we ended up looking into these photographers and they sent my headshots over to an agency and I met with these different agencies and then I picked mine and then, I mean, that was it. Then I started acting since then. And I feel like only now being a young adult, I realize what acting is, if that makes sense. Like it yeah. took me a long time to grasp the art of it and how big of a deal it is because I would always look at it when I was younger I was like this is fun this is fun to me this is a good time I'm gonna do anything I can to have this type of fun I'm gonna get my work done to have this type of fun but now as an adult I'm like oh this is a this is a job you know this is real I, I would always see it as like oh yeah I'm going to this audition and then and then we can go hang out but now it's it's completely different and I mean I fell in love with it and my love grew for it over time and I it was my first love Oh, very good. So my understanding, I know you're not like a big sports fan, but you're sort of into UFC, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So, I mean, you have a favorite fighter? Do I, you know, I don't have a favorite fighter. I don't get, cause like I said, I catch it when my dad is watching it and we'll, you know, order some pizza, you know, have some nice drinks or whatever while we're watching UFC. It's almost like more of a bonding thing, I guess. Maybe that's why I, I enjoy watching it so much. Cause it's a chance I get to sit down with my dad. That's, that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was cool. It's really, really yeah. Cool. I mean, that's, that's why I like it so much. I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jalen Barron again, blind spotting. June 13th on Stars. Check her out. Of course, you can follow her on Instagram at Jalen Barron as she joins us here on Botch to Row with the Radio Boss. Of course, she plays the role of Trish. Well, Jalen, really appreciate the time. Continued success in all you do. Thank you. I appreciate you talking to me and having me on the show. It was really cool. I've never got to be on a radio show before. Oh, is that no rate? No, okay. So yeah, you've done what, mostly radio interview, I think. Yeah, 100%. Yes. Oh, that's good. See, we yeah. look. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that makes me proud here at Box to Row with the radio boss. Yeah, you know what I'm, I mean? I'm happy our paths are crossed. Yeah. And so um, what have you done? Mostly like Zoom stuff and TV yeah, stuff most, and all that? Mm -hmm, exactly. Mostly Zoom or phone interviews. Okay. Magazine interviews. But this is my first radio. Very radio. good. So what magazines have you have you have you done? Oh man, um, I've done, um, oof, okay, put me on the spot, put me on the spot, <laughs> I've done J14, I've done, um, man, a few other ones. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. I'm so sorry, I'm so I'm, sorry. I'm just wondering, it's not, it's not a <laughs> No, I've done a few, I've done a few. Yeah, very good. Okay, well again, appreciate your time and we'll be watching you June 13th and in subsequent weeks. Thank you. I appreciate it. I Absolutely. hope you enjoy. watch the movie before you watch the series. Yeah. I, yeah. So, yeah. So is that what you like? Did you do that before you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Before. Well, I didn't watch it for the audition, but okay. they wanted me to do the callback. They had said to make sure I watched the movie to get the feel of it. And then when I was watching it, I was like, oh, this is this is a show I'm going to be on. This is what I need to do. This is perfect. So as soon as I watched it, I fell in love with it. And then I auditioned and that was it. But you definitely should watch it. It was on, it was on Barack Obama's, um, his top movie lists of 2019, I believe. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Blind spotting. Yeah. You can, you can see it on Amazon. Oh, well, shoot that. Now I'm even more excited because matter of fact, we have well, we, we, we kept stars because I think everybody, well, a lot of people watch power. So you mm -hmm. sort of keep stars. Right. And so, right. um, yeah, we have it. So we will definitely watch. Yeah, you should. It'll be a fun movie night. Yeah. All right. Thank you much. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. You too. Bye-bye.